Hey guys, it's Kate and welcome back to my channel. So today I am just gonna do some fan art for Hamilton since it just came out on Disney Plus. I was so excited to watch it. I loved it so much. I'm so sorry I did not post last week. I was on a vacation with my family. We went ATV riding and a whole bunch of outdoorsy stuff. So I just didn't really have time to post last week. So this is kind of just a little kind of a rushed video just had a little speed paint that I wanted to post and so I decided to just edit it and post it so if you have not seen Hamilton you probably will not know who I am drawing but I'm drawing Mariah Reynolds which is basically just a girl that goes up to Alexander Hamilton and asks him for money I just love her style and I think her colors are just very contrasty with her red and her black hair and I just think it looks really good, so I decided to draw her on my iPad in Procreate. So probably one of the hardest things that was on this drawing was probably doing the line art because I could not figure out what size I wanted to do if I wanted to do it in a contrasting color or a same color so that it matched and blended in or if I wanted to do it different so it stood out but I could not find a brush that I wanted to use in Procreate for my line art because I wanted a skinnier line art so it wasn't so bold like webcomic style I wanted it to kind of be more like my traditional art style like because I use like a 0.3 or a 0.1 fine liner at most so I was trying to find something that was going to correspond with my traditional art style and I eventually was messing around with it and I found something that worked to my needs. So as you've noticed, at the beginning of coloring my drawings, I will always fill them with a solid color so that that way I can go into the settings on the layers and turn it into alpha lock so that I don't have to go out of it. It's kind of like a clipping mask where it's just that one area that I color in so that I don't have to go out into a different area and I don't have to clean it up anymore so it's already cleaned up in my one area. And a lot of people say to not use the smudge brush, but I just use the smearing brush because it's just the easiest brush to use because I don't want to have to go in and do all the fancy different colors and whatnot. So I just smudged around and it looks pretty blended out. So her hair was kind of a hard thing to do since her hair is so curly. And I think one of my next videos is going to be focusing on drawing hair because I get lazy when I draw hair and I don't always put so much effort into it so I need to work on that a little bit more. Now I was just messing around with the blush and her face trying to figure out like what colors to put where if she should have eyeshadow and what else to do and then I figured she doesn't look very different than the background so I decided to just turn the background into a different color as you will start to see here but yeah I turned the background into solid black with a little white circle, which I soon turn into a gray circle. Yes, now it's a gray circle. But I had to figure out how to keep the whites of her eyes and then keep the gray background and black background. But I just love this drawing and so I just added a couple little speckles around. I thought it just looked better than just a plain background. So you'll see me sign it and then I just wanna thank you guys for watching.